What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel. Now, you guys are probably wondering what's going on. Well, if you guys saw my tweet on social media, you will know that I said that I was planning on doing a deck profile today, but I'm going to be waiting for, I'm, I'm going to wait until Wednesday, this coming Wednesday to do so, to do, to do that deck profile, because today, not only did we get the OCG ban list, but I'm also going to be doing a predict, I'm, I'm going to be predicting what I feel like should be on the TCG ban list as well. So the OCG is so different from, from the TCG just because of, just because of, just because of the fact that their format is a lot, is a lot different from ours. And I'm looking at the cards that are, you know, banned and whatnot, and it's quite the ban list because the cards that got that got banned, that got hit on on the ban list in 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 the OCG. True King of All Calamities, and get this, Mystic Mind. Yeah, Mystic Mind got banned. This is interesting because when you because for us in the CCG, it's still at three. Why is this car still, still not banned after all these years? Don't have the slightest fucking clue. But, I will say this. Um, but, I will say this. Given the fact that Missing Mind has been a, a ma it was a massive staple when Dark Neostorm was released, it does not surprise me. And plus, I think Missing Mind was like what was like the best format of twenty nine of what, twenty nineteen, twenty twenty, somewhere around there. And it's been around since, which is crazy. Now the cards that got limited, meaning you can only have one copy in your deck or actually depending on Depending on where it's at, we have Cyphering, Frame Gear Gamma, and Divine Arsenal, Double A Zeus, Sky Thunder. Yeah, so, so, Gamma got, got limited, Zeus got limited. It's interesting because with Zeus limited, people, players in, in the OCG now have to rely on, on utilizing cards like Lightning Storm and Nibiru, um... What else? Uh, Rakeki, Dark Hole to completely wipe out their their opponent's board because Zeus because you know because Zeus it's 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 broken it's just broken De you know detach two materials their you know your, your opponent's board is gone but this really doesn't surprise me because Zeus you because with Zeus you only need one copy that's it you only need one copy. Now, as far as cards that got semi limited, meaning you can have two. That dog needs to just shut up. Anyway, we have Soul Eating Over Raptor, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, Pot of Desires, and the one card that we never got in the TCG. Apparently, apparently it's been confirmed that it's going to be in, in the tins this year Cross Out Designator. This is interesting because Crossout Designator is a very interesting card. I'll actually, I'll actually look it up on here. Let me give me one sec. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna look up Crossout Designator because I because I've got the for the the OCG list on my Instagram right now, just as proof. Um. So let's take a look. Okay, seriously, I need to use search. Can I use search? Thank you. So hold on. Come on. Come on, search bar. Well, I guess it's not... Okay, there we go. Crossout Designator. Here we are. So, Crossout, de de Crossout Designator 
has yet to be released in the in the TCG and its effect reads if it can Something is like seriously wrong. I swear my laptop is just like stupid right now. Literally, my laptop is just being stupid. I, I guys, I apologize. My laptop, my laptop is just like really slow and it's old. Literally, it's almost as old as I am. Literally, and I'm only 25. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, let me see if I can, if I'm, if I'm able to. Let me try and look it up on Neuron. Just in case. Just in case if I can't see the whole card. Um, which I might I might be able to see it. And one second, guys. I apologize if, if, if this is ta taking a long time, but you guys know how this goes. Card search. Cross out. I guess not. I guess Neuron won't let me... I, I guess it's not on, on Neuron. I will cross out that Destiny. I might be able to... I might... It might work. I don't know what the hell's going on with this thing. Seriously, the laptop is just being stupid. Alright, let me see. Um, it says here, declare one card name, banish one card with that name from your deck. And if you do until the end of this turn, its effects are negated. As well as the activated effects and effects on the field of your of, of cards with the same original name. You can only activate one card size this name per turn. So... I, I mean, you could say it, it 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 works against it works against the mirror matches if you were playing mirror, you know w you know whether it was like Stardust Mirror or or whether it was Dino Mirror or or something like that. It could work, but I really I'm gonna be honest. I heard a lot of I actually did did a video if I remember correctly I did a video on 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 this card a long time ago, uh when when it was first announced, I. I really don't 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 think the card is any good, in my opinion. Especially in the TCG, I don't think it's any good because it's very rare that you would ever get a mirror match. So I wouldn't. It's just that that's just my honest opinion. But as far as the cards that got that got taken off the list permanently, meaning you can actually have three in your deck, you have Danger Nessie, Salmon Gray Circle, Mind Control, and Pendulum Call. This is interesting because because Mind Control. Basically, you're allowed to take control of your of your opponent's monster until the end until the end of the turn, which will prevent them from using that monster's effect. Sal Sal Circle, I think, is the search for the whole Sal for the whole Sal Gray deck, and then Danger Nessie is da is Danger Nessie, you know. And Pen Pendulum Call, basically, I think you get a Pendulum from the deck to the hand, so it's like a Stratos, so so to speak. But yeah, that's the OCG ban list. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that they find that the OCG finally banned. Um, finally banned, um, uh, uh, Mystic Mine, given the fact that we're still, we, we're still waiting for Konami here in the TCG to finally ban Mystic Mine after all these years, and I'm, I'm gonna continue saying this, Mystic Mine banned. I'm, I'm gonna continue to say it. There's actually another card that, in my opinion, I feel like should also, should also get hit. And it's kind of an interesting one. I think, in my honest opinion, I feel like Drytron should also take a hit, just because of how obscenely broken it is. Because you can, because you, because with, because with, the addition of Cyber Angel, Cyber Angel Benton, Drytron is literally 
is literally a ritual based deck with a few with a, may, may, maybe a synchro a couple of Cs but it's mostly ritual and if they were to, and and if Konami were to hit a card like say oh I don't know Cyber Cyber Angel Benton the deck would be shut down entirely not even not even a guy a guy like like Jesse Cotton would be able to to make a deck without Cyber Angel Benton, in my honest opinion. I know that there's going to be a lot of people who... I, I know that there's going to be a lot of people who are going to comment below saying, oh, Jesse can do it, you know, blah, blah, blah. If, if, I mean, if a guy like him can somehow do it, you know what? Kudos. Kudos to them, you know? But uh, I feel like, in, in, in my opinion, Drytron needs to get hit. Dinos need to get hit as well. Um... Uh, Sky Striker needs to get hit once again. Tri Brigade Zoo, Tri Brigade Zoo needs needs to get hit as well. With um, with I think maybe uh, uh, the Tri Brigade Link and maybe the Field Spell. I think they have a Field Spell for them. I think. Um, but with those cards banned, I with if those cards were to get hit. We could see a new. We could see a change in the meta, in my honest opinion. And I mean, if you and I mean, I mean, if you look at the current ban list right now, this was from from back in July, so just a few months ago. The cards there that I'm literally gonna go like just show show you guys exactly what cards are currently on the ban list right now. For for the cards that are forbidden. You have Blackwing Gofu the Vague Shadow, Go Blackwing Steam the Cloak, obviously Link, Links of course, Blaster Dragon Ruler of Infernos, Block Dragon Cyber Jar Daniel Dandelion, Destrudo the Lost Dragon's Frisian, uh, Jin Releaser of Rituals, Ecl Eclipse Wyvern, Fairy Tail Snow, Fiber Jar Fis Fishboard Blaster, Glow of Bulb, Grinder Golem, Jet Synchron, Level Eater, Magical Scientist obviously because of the FTKs from back in the day, Masterpiece. Uh, Maxi, um, uh, Mega Beast, Online, Mind Master, Harp Horror, uh, Phoenixian Cluster Amaryllis, Redox, uh, Samsara Lotus, Spiral Master Plan, obviously be because of Magic Souls. I don't know who the hell came up with the idea to put Magic Souls in a spiral deck, but yeah. Uh, Substito, Tyrant Neptune, Tidal, Victory Dragon, Yadagarasso, uh, Elder Entity Norton. Uh, Supreme King Dragon Storming Venom, Thunder Dragon Colossus, Guard Dragon Agrapane, and LP. Um, heavy Heavy Malfos, Electromite, Nightmare Goblin, Mer and Mermaid, Summon Sorceress, Tumbleology Gumblar Dragon, Link Cross, Union Carrier, Astrograph Sorcerer, uh, Luna Light Tiger, Mesh Specter Unicorn Kirin, Performance Plus Fire. I, there are just so so many so many others. Monkey Board, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Denlong, um, Ib, the World Child's Justice Seer, Tempest Magician. Uh, Lavolvo Chain, I already know that card's never going to be take, taken off the list. Invoker won't be taken off. Shockmaster, Galaxy Tomahawk, Heroic Champion, Rongo Minion, Galaxy Eyes, Dark Matter Dragon, which I I hate it when... I hate... That card needs to be taken off. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it now. Dark Matter Dragon, off the list. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Uh, number S0, Utopic Zexel, As a Thought, uh, True King, Windups and, uh, Wind and Mighty, uh, uh, Zudiac, Brabble, and Dryden, those are still busted. I feel like if those two were to be taken off, Tribe Against Zoo would, even, would be 10 times more powerful than ever. So I feel like they, so I feel like Konami needs to hit Tribe Against Zoo. So if, so if they do decide to bring back Brabble and Dryden, they can take out, they, they can take out the more problematic cards like the Tribe Against Lynx. And potentially the field spell, I believe they have a field spell for them, if I if I remember right. And the deck and the Trebricate Zoo deck would be completely stable, and it would tell players, hey, don't don't be making them boards. Don't be making them boards. You know, so uh Brilliant Fusion, Elm uh, uh Butterfly Dagger, Change of Heart, Chicken Game, God. Um uh, Cold Wave, Confiscation, Delinquent Duo, Gristle Charity, um, uh, uh, Smoke, Smoke Grenade of the Thief, obviously because of the, because of all the, 
all of the all of the Invernal Night plays, of course. Uh, Premature, Pot of Greed, uh, Snatch Seal, Soul Charge, uh, uh, That Grass Looks Greener. We don't... Don't you just miss miss that format? Um, uh, uh, Force of Century, Last Turn, uh, Royal Oppression, really busted card. Uh, Self-Destruct Button, Sixth Sense. I don't think that card would ever be taken off, but then again... Then again, I never... I did not. I don't think I've ever seen seen that card get played. If if you guys have seen Six Sense get played, let me know in the comments because I don't know. Uh, Trap Dust Shoe, Ultimate Offering, and if any it's Emptiness. Those are the cards. Those are just some 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 of the cards that got banned. Um, but again, I feel like Drytron needs needs to get hit. Trabagate Zoo need, needs to get hit. Um, I may pot potentially maybe. Uh, Maybe dinos again as as well. True, um, I it's 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 hard to say. It's it, it's hard to say. But if you think about some some of the more problematic cards in the format right now, obviously dinos are are, are still a big threat. Again, as I said, drytrons are are a, are a big threat. Uh, Tri Tribegate Zoo is a threat. Uh, Salmon Grates are are still a threat. Uh, the Mystic Mind decks are still a threat. Uh, Sky Striker is is, um, is still a threat with Engage, still uh, you know back at one, which excuse me, which made no sense whatsoever. Um, obviously, with the new with the new addition of the new Stardust support, I know that that arc, that deck is gonna slowly creep up and it's gonna get to the point where that deck is gonna become a massive problem to the meta because. Because of the fact that you you can just spam your board with six single monsters, set four, you know however many you want to set. Past turn, your opponent can't play Yu-Gi-Oh at all. Literally, it's it's gonna be a massive, a massive threat at some point down the road. But again, Sky Striker is another one that needs to get hit as well. I feel like all three, all three spells. Hornet drones, multi roll, and engage should get banned because they they're just too broken. They're just too broken. In fact, I think Hornet drones. I think Hornet drones focuses on um. If I if I remember correctly, Hornet drone focuses on the. Hold on, let's see. Um, if you control no monsters in your main monster zone, in your main monster zones. Supposed to summon a Sky Striker Ace token in defense position, which cannot be tributed. And if you have three or more in your grave, three or more spells in your grave, when this effect result, the the token's attack and defense becomes fifteen hundred. So basically, it allows you. So Horned Drones allows you to summon. Um, allows you to summon a token, which will get get you into you know cards like cards like Kagari and Kaina. Um, multi roll is a continuous spell, so its effect rates once per turn. You can target one other card you control, send that card to the grave. Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to your spell card activations for the rest of this turn, even if, even if this card leaves the field. You can only gain the previous effect once per turn. Once per turn during during the end phase, you can set a Sky Striker spell. You can set Sky Striker spells with different names from your grave up to the number of Sky Striker spell cards you activated this turn while this card was face up. On your field, but banish them when they leave the field. So it's basically, so it ba it basically just allows you um, to just spam your back row with a with a bunch of spells, including cards like cards like Hornet Drones, Afterburner, Engage, which basically is a pot of greed. Engage is a pot of greed, which again it says if you control no monsters in your main monster zone, add one Sky Striker card from your deck to your hand, accept this card. Then if you have three or more. Three more spells in your grave, you, you you can draw a card. So not only is it a, so not only is it a sort of like a, sort of like a Stratos type 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 of deal. It's a plus one. So altogether, you basically have a pot of greed. It's basically pot of greed, which it's just too broken. It's just too broken at one. E, you know, even at one. So those those three cards, in my opinion, need to get hit. Um. Uh, what what else should get hit? Uh, Pendulum Magician. I, I feel I feel I feel like should also get hit because they're just way too busted. With with cards like Double Iris Magician, 
um, you know, finally back, you know, you know, back off, you know, back off the list. I feel like the card is, is, is just way too broken to be at at two. So I feel like this card should be at at, at least one, and put and put Master Endymion, the boss monster, if you will, put it put that card to one. That way, it tells the Pendulum players, hey, cool it, keep it cool. Don't be making no 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 crazy ass board wide bullshit because otherwise we're gonna ban you guys and you know I feel like that could happen it could happen but I'm gonna be honest um will we ever see 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 them get hit no I feel like I I I I really I really don't think so um I've heard rumors that apparently they're gonna bring they're they're gonna bring back um they're gonna bring back uh what is it um uh maxi uh let's see I, I think I, I I heard rumors that it was gonna be maxi to one uh Yadagrasu to one even though it doesn't really even though it's still pretty busted in, in, in today's meta um I just don't 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 see it happening anytime soon but uh, servant, servant of Endymion could be another one that gets hit, but only time will tell. O but only time will tell. But guys, that is gonna do it for this video. That brings me to the question of the day: What cards do you want to see get hit on the new ban list that will come up no earlier, no sooner than October first? Let me know in the comments below. And that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys want more ban list predictions in the future make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way and be sure to follow me on twitter and instagram all the links will be down in the description and if you guys have fan mail that you want to send me and want me to open up on the channel my address will also be in the description as well and on that this is your boy nash signing out